All right, Darren, we are going to keep the creativity going with a way that we can actually help to capture student understanding in a very visual and succinct way. And so we're going to be able to look at how we can make our own infographics for that snapshot of understanding. I love infographics. It's just a portmanteau of info and graphic, right? Stick them together. And if you do a quick search, you can see there are so many beautiful infographics out there. It's a great way to get information out and to share it with your students and to have them summarize. We always worry about our students summarizing and, you know, not just plagiarizing. Doing something like this, there's my coffee infographic. There's the size of the cup I had today. Just <laughs> infographics are a great way to show information in a really, really simple manner. So I like to do them in drawings. You can put all kinds of things on the side. And drawings are just in your drive. New, more, Google Drawings. So I can go to my drive. New, more, and Google Drawings. And they are really, really simple to create. So I can just add shapes. I'm going to build one right now just to show you how okay. easy it can be. Drive. Oh, my, my Google really wants me to talk. <laughs> how often does that happen? Eh? Now, I'm using these boxes. And I'm just, I did a search for just a palette for colors. And I have a, a color picker right here. The one I like to use is Colorzilla. And I just love having this as a tool when I'm creating because it picks any color from the internet. And there's other ways to get um, colors from the internet. There's a great site called Coolers where you can actually get colors and it gives you the palette and the hex numbers of all those things. So I'm going to paste that in. I'm going to make this a nice color. I'm going to insert some word art and why info are great. This is awesome, Darren. And I love how you're putting this together because when we think about it, if we're going to look at real world tools for our students to be able to use, Long yeah. gone are the days in the real world of where you get to put together a 32 slide slide share to share your pitch or your your concept, you know, with your employer. It's all about a snapshot of understanding. And so with this, I love that you went ahead and you just set up this Google drawing, just like we did last week with the uh, magazine template of just the file page set up. It can yeah. still be eight and a half by 11 and you're just using shapes and text boxes. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. That file page set up. So valuable. My control shift grab wasn't working, but it is now. And I'm going to get my next color from my palette. Boop. Perfect. Copy to my clipboard, click on the paint can, click on custom. And I'm going to get another. I, I love that you can just copy these too. You can control shift or just, whoops. You can control D. Maybe that'll work better. My dragging isn't working great today. Get some. It. Easy to read. So this isn't too complicated. I'm just literally grabbing text boxes, putting in word, or putting in word art. You can put all kinds of icons and things here too. So I'm going to complete this part, and I also want to show just how you can get really simple images. And the tool that we love to use the most, Trish, is probably um, flat icon. Oh, flat icon. Absolutely. Just by far you know and how often do we go and we just grab images we do a google image search and we take these thumbnails that don't necessarily match that aren't necessarily ours flat icon puts it together for us they've got transparent backgrounds they're free i love it there's a pretty great one copy image and just in your infographic just put at the bottom images by flat icon they're easy to read so should we do a little and tv magic darren you're going to keep going with this yep. and then we'll suddenly see what this looks like Images up, and I'll just show like how you can add just you know text boxes and all that sort of stuff to just get you know an infographic that's just really simple to use. So really easily, I just made you know boxes of text, some simple things where they can summarize <laughs> some icons from Flat Icon, and you can do all kinds of things with this. I just love this as a thing that you can have students summarize on. Um, something like this, where you're talking about a national park or wetlands. And this one, I have the images just all scattered on the side so that students can choose. So if you want to give them the icons ahead of time, that's something you can do. And I have a whole folder of, you know, simple infographics that I've made that just you can take and edit and just have students summarize and use those. So I think they're getting some great tech skills, Trish. They're also getting the ability to make these are all on their own and the idea of summarizing. Just infographics are a real win. Absolutely. And you know, it's one of those real life tools that they're really going to need to know how to interpret and understand as well as create. So give it a try. We want you to be able to go if you want to create one from scratch following what Darren did, go for it. Or 
feel free to go inside of the link that we've given you of all of Darren's amazing templates, choose one that you want to make a copy of, and then go ahead and start trying to change out fonts, colors, you know, uh, icons, any of those things to really personalize it for your subject area that you want the kids to be able to complete. The next level of, of being a color nerd, getting a color pick eyedropper like Colorzilla, where you can choose colors, or even going to a site like Colors, colors. Coolers, and just get some palettes from here, which are just, this is so fun if you use this one. I love it. How do you, you think I find all my hair colors, Darren? Now you know, yeah. now you know, my secret's Space out bar. there. <laughs> Space bar. And you can just copy these. Oh, these are amazing. You just copy and paste them. So there's another site for you too. So have fun and we'll see you in the next one.